all, Shay here. Thanks for joining me for this week's WIP and Chat. WIP stands for, uh, W-I-P stands for Work and Progress. So my current WIP is a diamond painting. So go ahead and pull something out um, if you'd like to, if you wanna craft alongside me, or you can treat this as like an audio book or a podcast and you can just listen and um, do whatever you want. So let me just keep you company and we will catch up, okay? So before we get started, I wanted to say hello and I wanted to say how are you? Um, just like I would in real life, you know, if we're meeting up for coffee or for dinner, um, you know, you ask someone, how are you? How are you doing? You know, how are you feeling? So let me know, please. This is our time to kind of connect and it really does mean a lot to me. So down in the comments, please tell me how you are because I would love to hear from you and uh, thank you for your continued support for those of you that have returned and for those of you that might be new, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me and for clicking on the video. Um, this is, it's bittersweet, but today is the week four. So the very last whip and chat for the JBG Along 2023. Um, that stands for Jasmine Beckett Griffith Along and we were celebrating her artwork and I am working on a uh, JBG from Craftably and I will go ahead and pop up a picture of her right here. So it'll kind of just sit here during the video so you can see what I'm working on. I am on the very, very last square, yeehaw. I'm so excited. Um, I was working on it today and I was like, ooh, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I've got to make this last. So I'm gonna do the rest of it during the whip and chat. Um, we normally go about an hour, but I have a lot going on this week. I've got um, family in town. Uh, my nephew's visiting from California. He's here for the week and I'm flying solo. My husband's at work, he's out of town for work. And uh, so I've got my three kids, I've got him, and then I have my daughter's best friend and they're all over right now. So yeah, it's a full house, three dogs. So I'm just kind of snuck away after dinner, after I made pasta, I made spaghetti with garlic bread and salad. It was good. And I did have a little bit of vino. Yes, there's the rest of my wine. It is Wednesday for me slash Thursday for y'all, if you're watching this the morning that it comes out or the day that it comes out. Um, it is about 7.15 p.m. I normally try to do these in the morning, but you know, just it doesn't always happen that way. But at least I get it done on a Wednesday. That's always my goal. So then I can, you know, edit it and get it up, get it processed and uploaded and then ready for y'all for Thursday. So somewhere along in this video, maybe at the end, I don't know because I haven't done it yet, but I will be putting in a clip of me choosing last week's winner, okay? And the winner, from last week's work, because I did ask for a keyword in my last whip and chat, um, is actually going to win this pen from Leopard Leatherworks. I had the pleasure of meeting Carrie and her husband, Tim, yesterday. So we'll talk about that in a minute, but I got to meet them in person and they are delightful. Just absolutely fell in love with both of them. They're so cool. So we'll talk about that in a second, but um, yes. So whoever uh, I use, I'll put a little uh, clip in here of me choosing a winner, okay, for this pen. It's gorgeous. It's uh, satin finished and it's just beautiful. So, all right. What else do we have? So yeah, the JBG along is coming to a close. Um, it's been so fun. I want to thank our sponsors. Um, we have Amazing, Emma over at Amazing. She's She's got the resin trays, right? And then uh, all the resin trinket trays and uh, trash pots and all the fun cover minders. And then of course, Leopard Leatherworks, who by the way, just now is opening a website their own website. So I'll have all these folks listed down below. Definitely go check out, you know, both of them. And then also for the grand prize, which Lindsay and I have not talked about uh, how we're gonna do the grand prize yet, but um, I need to talk about that with her because now we're at the end. It went by really fast, y'all. It went by really quick. But um, there will be a grand prize. Craftably is donating a gift card. And if they still have them, a Jasmine Beckett Griffith painting. So that was the plan. So um, yes, yeah, so thank you to all of our sponsors. I'll have everybody linked down below. So definitely go show them some love because they donated items to us. And yeah, it's just super, super nice. Um, I didn't even mention Lindsay. I mentioned her, but I didn't say who she was. Y'all probably already know her, but Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights, um, her and I were hosting this event for the third year in a row. So, um, so fun to work with her. Um, I love her and she's just great. So um, let's talk about what else I'm working on. So again, this is my Craftably Dime Painting. Hopefully we'll get to finish during this video, we'll see. And then speaking of Leopard Leatherworks, Carrie and Tim made this pen for me because the name of this painting is Releasing Fireflies. And you'll see in the image, you can see how fireflies are coming out of the jar. And this just, it almost looks like it glows in the dark. I've actually tried. I've like 
cupped it in my hands and I've looked at it, it doesn't, but it looks like it does. It's just beautiful. So if y'all have not checked them out yet, just definitely. And like I said, they just opened up a website. They are on Facebook. They have a Facebook page and I'll have that link down below. But um, uh, they don't, I don't think they have any pins yet, but they've got pins they're about to add to their website. So I would definitely keep an eye on this website, okay? And like I said, they're just awesome people. So they gave me this pen for the event. I did, and this is the first time y'all are probably seeing it. I got a stainless steel multi-placer from Diamond Art Club. I got notified they were back in stock and I flew over there. I didn't even look at my, I didn't even try to use points. I didn't do anything. I just was like, I don't even know if I was logged in. I just clicked by, put my information in and I didn't want to lose out. This is a six placer and I am absolutely loving it. Great, great job, Diamond Art Club. Um, I did have to put a little bit of washi tape around the base. That's all you have to do. I just uh, wrap some washi tape around there and just kind of squeeze it at the tip to kind of, you know, get it to fold in. Um, Cause it was a little loose in my pen, but it's great. I am using Enablers Outpost Chit, which is Romanian for putty, C-H-I-T. So I do put putty in here and it's a uh, cinnamon scented. So that's out, that's working really well. And then I just have a brass tip and I am using micro glue dots in my single placer. But yes, love my pen, love the placer. I've just been going to town with this. So if y'all have not tried these yet from Diamond Art Club, I would definitely 10 out of 10 would recommend, yes. And let's see, I've got my tray. It's 3D printed and it's from Bella Art Day Nicole. This is one of their um, older trays, their older style of trays. So I got the yellow, cut my pen. Then I have my gold tweezers. Thought it just kind of went with them. Got my ceramic cutter that I, of course, used to cut back the plastic, but there's no more plastic, we're almost done. And then I have a trinket tray from Lexi Sparkles. I went with the, the bright yellow. So those are the things I'm using, and I am using um, Elizabeth Ward storage containers. I've had a lot of folks ask me in the, um, in the comments from last week's video if I'm adding any glow-in-the-dark drills. Now, the secret word, the key word was glow, and I'm sure that's why they were asking, but um, I did receive these glow-in-the-dark drills free from some other something else I had bought. Um, I don't know where to put them. So to answer your questions about the glow-in-the-dark drills, no, I have not added any in. I think what I might do when I'm finished with the painting, I think I might go to where the lightning bugs are, the fireflies. We call them lightning bugs here in the South. Let me know if y'all also call them lightning bugs. Um, but I might pick off a few that I feel like would be cool because I've never really used glow-in-the-dark before. So yeah, let me know if you have any ideas. But I think... Um, I know you can't see them right now. You can't see the lightning bugs. I don't think that's one. Is that a lightning bug? I don't know. Her hair's right here. So I'm not really sure what that is. But I might be picking off some and, and adding some glow in the dark after the fact. So, all right. Um, what else? Oh, I forgot to even show y'all some of my other accessories. Um, Emma over at Amazing sent these to me for the JBG. She's our other, you know, sponsor. And she does, like I said, the trinket trays and she does little pots, resin items. And this is a JBG cover minder that she made for me. So pretty, it's got flowers in there, it's got a magnet. And then, but I don't have any plastic, so I'm not using it right here. And then I've got the little trash pot and it also has a magnet on the back. But it's definitely like JBG colors. It just kind of screams that with the green and the purple. I love it. I have not had a lot of trash. Look at this, y'all, that's it. Very, very minimal. All right, so I think that's it. What am I forgetting? Okay, I think that's it. So let me grab a color. Let's go with the nines. It looks like a six because it's upside down for me. But yeah, I think I'm good. Sometimes when I'm working on my painting upside down, I have to go like this and turn my container upside down to make sure it's the right symbol. So yeah, just to make sure. So yes, how is everybody? Are y'all good? I hope you're doing good. I'm, I'm doing all right. No, no complaints. It's been kind of social lately, so I'll get into that and kind of update you on what's been going on on different days, but um, yeah, all's good. Um, I do want to say thank you to um, a lot of you wrote some of the sweetest comments um, in the comment section from last week's Whip and Chat because um, our hamster Daisy died, and y'all were so sweet. Um, and I hope it wasn't too raw. It had just happened that day. It happened the same day that I filmed that. Um, it happened on Wednesday and I was like, oh no. So I just, I was probably in my feels, but um, y'all were so sweet. Everybody wrote just the nicest comments. Um, Lou, my 10 year old daughter, she's doing great. Um, there was te lots of tears that day, but the next day, none. It was just that day. So she got over it pretty quick, I have to admit. 
which is what I was kind of hoping. But that day, it was just heartbreaking. She was just a mess and just could not stop crying all day. So yeah, it was really emotional, but she's doing good. So thank y'all very, very much to everybody that commented. Um, y'all are just... I, you know, I hear some creators and I'm really lucky and I hate to even say anything because I don't want to jinx it, but y'all, I have, I get nice comments. I'm always afraid I'm going to get like mean ones or like nasty people, but y'all, this community is awesome. <laughs> I mean, very, very supportive, loving all the things. I, I yeah. So there's, the, I have a wooden table right here. So let's just double knock on wood just to make sure I didn't jinx myself. But yeah, so thank y'all for always commenting and, and watching and all the all the YouTube -y things. But your support's just amazing. So yes, I just wanted to make sure that I said thank you about, you know, all the comments to Daisy, which was really nice. And um, you know, since we're kind of wrapping up the Jasmine Beckett Griffith along, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that's been participating year after year, or if this was your first year. Um, hope you had a good time. I have been following along on Instagram. I haven't done a lot of Facebook. But um, I know, you know, Lindsay has, um, with Katie, Diamonds and Washi, they do have a Facebook group where a lot of people were um, encouraged to post thing, things. And um, so, yeah. And then, by the way, I need to, I don't know if I already said it, but I need to get with Lindsay on the um, uh, exit form if y'all have finished your paintings for the grand prize. I need to get on that. Unless she's already created one in her, in her latest video and I just missed it. So I need to make sure I attach that. Um, so be looking for that if you have finished and you want to be um, eligible for the grand prize. You just had to finish at least a 30 by 40 section. So yeah, that's uh, something we'll be looking for. And like I said, we'll have to plan out when we're going to be doing that uh, grand prize giveaway. We'll be doing that soon. And let's see. Yeah, so JBG is wrapping up. Um, you know, today is what, the 26th for me. So I'm starting to think about, you know, August. And so talking about, I do have another event coming up. So we'll talk about that for just a minute. That is Oz and Og. I took it over last year for the originator that started it. Um, she wasn't able to host last year. So I hosted it and I had a co-host that was Lisa, the diamond art nurse. We did it last year and it was a blast. And then um, I was told I could have it again. And if I wanted it, and I was like, I, uh, yes, of course I want it. So um, I was blessed with the event again, and I got to choose an, a different co-host, thought I'd spread the love. And um, I asked Derek with Diamonds, so he's gonna be my co-host, and it's anything just for the month of August. And I still have not done a video, y'all. I, I hope I did not leave y'all hanging. I have not put a video out on like all the details. It's really, really straightforward though, pretty much like you know a lot of other events. Um, no new start is required. So if you already had something from last year, um, it just needs to be, you know, Wizard of Oz themed somehow, some way, an, an element of the Wizard of Oz, right? So just be creative. Um, you know, a rainbow, a witch, a monkey, a lion, a bear, you know, anything like that, right? Uh, a tornado, I mean, any, a dog, a Yorkie. So just have fun with it. And uh, we'll do weekly giveaways. I'll be doing them on my whip and chats just like I did for this one and maybe even some lives. We have a ton of sponsors, y'all. I'll have it listed in all those videos, but a ton of sponsors. So I'm very, very excited. We've been kind of gearing up for it um, for a while. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Derek will also be doing videos for giveaways and also um, he goes live. So he'll be doing some live giveaways as well. So we would love to have you guys. And I apologize for not having uh, a detailed video go out um, already explaining um kind of what was going on but y'all it's been crazy i just feel like it's been crazy or i've been crazy i don't know i just feel like i haven't had my act together you know you just kind of feel that way you just kind of feel discombobulated and you're just not focused you feel kind of scatterbrained that's kind of what i've been feeling so um yeah it's been a lot but this week was good because i did have my um so i do have a patreon so if you'd like to join, I'd love to have you. It is a, if you're not familiar with Patreon, it's a behind the scenes content. It's a, like a, a monthly subscription and it's a great way to support your favorite creators. So if I'm one of your favorites, come join us. Um, you get to know me better, I get to know you. It's just a more intimate setting and it's a lot of fun. So we started doing um, Zoom calls a long time ago as, a, as an a, entire group, all of us. And then it, we were kind of growing, getting big, bigger, a little bit bigger. So we decided, I decided to break it out into different nights for different tiers. 
So different tiers do get a um, monthly Zoom call. I was gonna do a live, but I thought, you know what, I really wanna be able to see people's faces and get a chance to get to see them, and I don't know, face-to-face, -face, so I thought Zoom would be good. We tried uh, Discord, and we do have a Discord for my Patreons, but um, you know, it was laggy. It was kinda laggy and kinda had some issues with it, so I was like, I kinda liked Zoomed better, so we went back to Zoom. So anyways, we had, let's see, Friday night, last Friday, I had one tier and got to hang out with some folks for a couple hours. Very, very fun. It's always a good time. Y'all, there's some good people in this community and once you get to know them better, you're like, wow, it's just, it's really cool. And then um, Saturday night, I did another, another tier. So kind of had them broken out to give everybody a little more, you know, special attention and to make sure everyone's seen and heard and all that stuff. Cause you know, it's kind of hard when you're all together in one night. So and we, we went on for a couple hours. So it was a very social Friday and Saturday night, which was a ton of fun. Um, I've kind of been tossing around the idea. So I wanted to ask you guys your opinion, okay? Um, just I'm just kind of throwing it out there. But I've been thinking about YouTube memberships because I feel like, I think people like, I mean, my Patreons get like a, you know, a slide, like a screen at the end of my videos, you know, with their names, but I think it's kind of cool. I've seen a lot of lives where um, your name, you get like a special emoji or in color and like some fun things that goes along with YouTube memberships versus Patreon. Patreon doesn't have those perks because they're not connected to YouTube, right? So I thought it could be kind of fun. I would do both. I would definitely would not get rid of Patreon, but I know there's are, there are some creators that do both. And I would just post the content to both platforms. But that way I would be able to reach out maybe to more people um, and if they want those perks and those benefits, which I think is really cool and fun, then we could have that fun with it too. So I'm just kind of thinking about it. Let me know if y'all think that's a good idea. Um, if you care, if you don't, don't even, it doesn't matter. I'm good either way. I'm just kind of just kind of just been thinking about it and I haven't really ever talked about it with anybody. I'm just kind of thinking about it in my mind going, I wonder if I should do that. I wonder if I should offer memberships too. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in, if you think that's a good idea, or is that not? So let me know. And if you're a fellow creator, let me know your thoughts too, especially if you have both. Is it, does it work for you? Does it not? So yeah, just I'm just kind of putting some feelers out there. Oh, look at that. My, my tip of my pen just got stuck. I just changed out these glue dots, so they're very, very sticky. Um, I'm ready to be done with this painting. I've loved it, loved it, loved it, but I was working on it last year and I pulled it out to, to do it again this year and it's a big one and it's, it's gonna be beautiful once it's finished and I'm gonna hang it up on my blueprint rack for displaying. So it's gonna be really, really pretty, but here at the end here, especially the last, last like top part, it's a lot of blues. And so it's a lot of dark colors as you can see. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of like, I'm ready. I'm ready to kit up. Um, my, I did get the new Dorothy and Toto Diamond Art Club painting that they came out with last weekend. So that came in the mail yesterday, which is crazy. So I don't know if you know, but Diamond Art Club moved to Dallas, Dallas, Fort Worth. So they're near me and I get my paintings really, really fast now. So loving that. That's, that's a nice little perk, nice benefit for them having moved closer. And it also seems like there are, um, they have a lot more kits in stock. I don't know if that's just my imagination or if I heard somebody say that or if I read it somewhere, but I don't know, what do y'all think? Um, I think they are possibly keeping more in stock, maybe because they moved and they got more room. I don't know if their warehouse, I don't know the space and what it looked like versus what it looks like now. I'm just assuming that because they moved, maybe it's bigger and better. I don't know, but I know at first there was some, and I think maybe still for sneak peekers, I think there's been a little bit of a, uh, issues with trying to get them their kits in time to be able to show them to us, which I'm sure they're working all that stuff out, but I've kind of heard some creators that do those talk about that. But as far as a consumer, I'm getting my kits really fast. So I'm very, very happy. But again, I'm also in Dallas, so it, it makes it a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, so I got that one and it's still all cellophane. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna do, cause I, that's the one I'm gonna do for the event. I'm sure as a lot of you are probably gonna do it cause it just came out. Um, I do have all the Diamond Art Club Wizard of Oz themed kits they've ever come out with, including the Hannah Lynn um, Good Witch that they came out with a, quite some time ago. I was able to buy that in a D stash. But all the newer ones that they've come out with since they got licensing um, with them, I was able to, I've been able to snag. So I'm very, 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 very lucky. And I 
could not decide which one, but I think I'm gonna go with the new Dorothy and Toto one. And uh, yeah, but I haven't unboxed it. I haven't kitted it up yet. So I'm just trying to decide what would be a fun way to do that. Don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do a kit up video or just do like an unboxing, but um, I want y'all to see my reactions because I'm super excited. Yes, I haven't seen anyone unbox it yet, so I'm I'm excited. All right, we're moving right along here, y'all. I might need to go check on the kids soon, but um, we're 20 minutes in, but so far so good. So yeah, had Patreon lives Friday and Saturday, and then um, Sunday I had my live, which speaking of, I wanted to make sure I told y'all so I didn't forget. Um, I will not, unfortunately, I will not be able to go live this Sunday. And y'all know I always try to, I try, always try to if I can. But um, my mom and dad are coming to visit because my nephew's in town from California. And so my mom and dad are gonna be driving six hours up or down from Amarillo. And, um, and you know, we were just up there to see them, what, a week and a half ago? So yeah, we get to see them again. And my dad's birthday is on Sunday. And they're gonna be here for two nights to see Parker and to hang out with us. Parker's my nephew, by the way. So yes, um, we'll talk about him too in a minute uh, once we get there, because I picked him up yesterday from the airport. But yeah, no live. Um, I just, unless I can do like a pop-up live maybe before then, but I just don't think it's gonna be possible with him being here for the week. Um, we're really trying to spend a lot of good time together and it's been fun so far. It's been a lot of work, but it's been a lot of fun. But um, yeah, so no live. Um, so let's see. That was uh, Sunday, so I did go live. We had a really good time. And then um, Monday, it was just kind of getting ready for my nephew, cleaning, and just kind of, you know, trying to get organized um, because we did sell our dining room furniture um, on Facebook Marketplace, which is always, uh, y'all, if you've ever sold anything on Facebook, it's, it's good and bad, right? I mean, I, I'm, you know, we're lucky that we have that, right? to sell things, but people are so flaky on there. I started, I put it up for sale on Friday and I finally sold it on Sunday. And it was two or three days of just back and forth with people, uh, people telling me they were coming and then they would never come. And then finally on Sunday, they said they were coming, but it took them forever to finally come. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna release it and tell the next person it's available. And they're like, no, 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 he's just a few minutes away. And he actually did show up. So it's crazy because this dining room furniture was and china cabinet was given to us from my parents when they downsized. And I don't even remember how many years ago. It's been like eight or nine years ago, eight, seven or eight years ago that we've had it. And it's been great. It's been awesome. It's served its purpose. It's been wonderful to have a lot of memories. But at the same time, it's really, really big. It's a big set and it takes up the entire room and it's just oversized and it's beautiful but it was time to go. And the reason why is we're gonna be doing some house renovations, like not renovations, but we're gonna be painting the house and it's starting to look a little raggedy. So we need to paint the walls, uh, we're gonna replace the carpet and stuff like that. So, and like refinish the um, kitchen cabinets. So with that being said, my husband's like, now's the time we've been talking about, you know, selling this dining room set for a while with the china cabinet, um, but we could really use that room to like put furniture so we don't have to move out, you know, so we can kind of use it as a storage area. And I was like, that's a good idea. So I was able to sell it. Oh, so originally, and again, it was, it was given to us. Right. So, I mean, I wanted to give it away, but sometimes that is just as hard to give something away and to have someone pick it up. But so I had it listed for $300 for a beautiful dining room table, eight chairs, all wood, just gorgeous, eight chairs. And then this fabulous china cabinet okay i had it listed for 300 dollars. we just wanted to you know just 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 have it gone so um i had people wheeling and dealing wheeling and dealing and finally someone said they were going to come get it and they said will you take a hundred dollars i'm like yes so then it was down to a hundred right and this is the person that came on sunday her husband came it was just i was dealing with her her husband this other guy came and they were like legit. They had like a trailer full of other furniture. So they're probably gonna resale it is what we're thinking, but whatever, do what you want with it. But I even had put in the post, it's got some scratches on it. It's, it's been, it's used, you know, in fair condition. It wasn't good condition, it was fair. And I even put a picture on there of one of the chairs. Um, the fabric on there had a little bit of blue paint from arts and crafts and stuff for my daughter. So I even put that in there 
And again, y'all, it was I was already gonna give it to him for a hundred dollars. So everything. The husband comes and he gets on the phone with her and they're speaking Spanish and I don't understand them. And then um, he's like, My wife's my wife uh, messaged you. I'm like, okay. So I get on my phone and I get a message from the wife saying, he says the chair is stained. Will you take 75? I was like, really? Really? <laughs> At this point, they probably know people just want to get rid of stuff. But I mean, people just. So I was like, yes, that's fine. That's fine. Just take it. And another thing about this set is it's extremely heavy. The china cabinet is crazy heavy. It's like two pieces and it's so heavy. We've moved it, we've moved it before and like to put a new rug under it and it was just a nightmare. So we really, and these guys were struggling and, but at least he had someone help him and they had a trailer and truck and the whole thing and it took them a while, but they took everything apart and didn't need our help. So it was pretty seamless and she sent me $75. So that got done. Um, but that was a lot of work over the weekend, just going back and forth with people, you know, wheeling a deal and haggling. And are you coming? Are you not? And are you still interested? Are you not? Just all the things. So, but yeah, so that's done. And then, um, so that was, I was glad that was done. So then on Monday, um, again, I was getting ready for, you know, Parker coming, my nephew. And we, um, so Parker is, um, he's 10 and Lou is 10. They are only three months apart. She's only three months older than him. So they're very, very close uh, in age. Now, as far as close as getting to know each other, they haven't really been around each other very much. Um, and it's the only cousin that my daughter has. My, uh, my brother only had one child and that's him. And my husband doesn't have any brothers or sisters. And I only have one brother. So yeah, we have a very, very small family. And, um, so we really want, you know, the kids to spend more time together and, you know, cause cousins are important and he's my nephew and I wanted to know his aunt and his uncle and, you know, his other cousins and, you know, everything. So I wanted the boys to get to know him better. So we, um, you know, said he could come and yeah, so he, so that was, he was coming Tuesday though. So Monday I was kind of running around trying to, you know, get everything ready for him and trying to clean up the house and just kind of do this and that and run errands because I'm thinking when he's here, I'm going to be running around doing kid stuff all the time and I'm not going to have any free time. So, um, so Monday, uh, was good. Just kind of ran around and then, um, oh, I know what it was. I took Lou to the mall to go back to school shopping. That's what we did because school starts in two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks from today, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Two weeks from today, school starts. They start on a Wednesday, which is really odd, but they do every year it's never on a monday school always starts on like a wednesday or a thursday i think it's always a wednesday so yeah august 9th they start school it seems kind of early but yeah those little be going back and so she needed some clothes so we hit up the mall and spent way too much but uh, got that done and then oh my gosh get this y'all i was like starstruck so there's a youtuber that i follow her name is well i don't know her name but her channel name is crafty girl and she, I've been following her for a couple years. And it's funny because I don't really follow any other creators except for diamond painting creators. Outside of diamond painting, she's really the only one. Her and like one true crime person, that's it. So um, I've been following her for a while and I noticed that she, you know, from her telling us everything online that, you know, she had moved. I knew she lived in Dallas. I knew that, she, was, she would talk about it. She does uh, Dollar Tree hauls and Amazon hauls and Walmart and does some really cool stuff, junk journaling and a lot of DIY stuff and she's really cool. I like her personality. So yeah, I've been following her and I thought it was cool. She lived, you know, in the area. So then she moved to Florida and she was not happy there. She has, she recently moved back and I saw her at the mall. Yes. Go figure. I mean, that's something I was like, Oh, that'd be funny if I ever like ran into her at a dollar tree. Cause she's always going there. Right. Or at a Walmart or something. Definitely a dollar tree. But I end up seeing her at our mall and here was the deal. I, I get really nervous and shy anyways, but especially around like someone famous. I was like, oh my gosh. So she, uh, we're walking down the, down the hall, you know, in the mall. And I look up and I see her and she's on her phone and she's coming right for us. And I'm like, no, no. And I almost couldn't believe it. You're like, you're seeing it, but you're not sure if that's, you just can't compute. You're like, what? So as she passed us, I told Lou, I'm like, Lou, Lou, that, 
that's a, so you two were a watch. And she's like, what? Are you sure? I'm like, I'm positive. I'm totally positive. Cause she shows her face in every video. I'm like, I know that was her. And she's like, why didn't you say anything to her? Why didn't you get a picture? I was like, well, she was on the phone. I'm like, but even if she hadn't been on the phone, if she was been walking by, I, what are you going to say? I mean, what's not awkward and weird? And I'm like, I didn't know what to say to her. She's like, well, you should have said, hi, I love your channel. And can I get a picture? I was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, I don't know. So I kind of regret that. But again, she was on the phone. So I definitely did not want to bother her. But y'all, I got to see somebody that I watch on YouTube, which was super, super cool. I never thought that was going to happen. So yeah, um, so that was kind of fun. And then, um, so that was Monday during the day. And then Monday night, uh, Grace, who is here on YouTube, she lives in Australia. And I know a lot of y'all know her. She was, she's been in the U.S. for, um, she's going to be here for a few months, I think, a couple months. And she was in Dallas. So Randy and I, who's my bestie, you can call me Butter, here on YouTube, we met her out for dinner. We met at six at um, Fireside Pies because they have gluten-free um, options because Randy's gluten-free. So we wanted to make sure, you know, that she could eat there. And so they had gluten-free pizza. So we met there and we hung out for a couple hours had some food drinks it was really really fun so we caught up and um after that got home around nine and i was just exhausted and then tuesday morning i had to wake up early and get ready to pick up my nephew at the airport i was really really nervous and couldn't really sleep well because he was flying by himself and it is only the second time he has ever flown by himself or flown period he's never flown by himself um but the best way to describe him and if y'all have seen this show i hope it'll make sense to you but it dawned on me and I, I said something to him, my husband and he was like i already said that to you and i'm like you did so but y'all if you've ever heard of the show or seen it young sheldon he's like a young sheldon he's super smart he's like the most polite little gentleman he's like a, an adult like in a, in a kid's body he is just the coolest kid and he's so polite so I was, you know, he's only, and he was okay with flying by himself. And the only other time he's flown on a, on a plane is when he came out here the first time. And it's been about three years, I guess. I'm um, not really sure about three years, I think, since he was here last. And he was with my brother. So um, yeah, but this time he came alone. And so I was really nervous about, you know, being the, the, the pickup person and what, you know, because you pick him up at the gate. So I had to get a special pass and go through security and all the, the, the things. So I was really, really nervous. So his flight came in at noon. So it was supposed to arrive at like 12, 19. So all morning, as I was kind of doing stuff around the house, I was, you know, um, checking his flight to kind of see if it was, you know, if he had boarded yet and if it was in flight and the whole thing. So I've been following his flight all morning. And so I decided to leave about 10. Now I know it's still a couple hours, but it takes about 30 minutes to get to the airport. And I thought, okay, if I get there at 10 30, um, I want to give myself at least an hour, right? To be at the gate an hour and ahead of time, just to make sure. And I wasn't sure what security was going to be like. Plus I had to go to the ticket counter to get, you know, the special pass to go to the gate. So I, I, uh, I start looking at the flight and it shows the flight is coming into terminal B. I was like, okay. So then I decided to look again before I left and it switched to terminal A. And y'all, these terminals at Dallas-Fort Worth Airport are not close to each other. They're far. You have to take a shuttle or a Skylink like inside the airport. It's, they're, they're not close. So it, it's a big endeavor to like switch terminals. And I thought, are you kidding me? And then getting ready to leave and I get in the car and as I'm starting to drive, I decide to check again. And I'm like obsessing over this and it's now at C. So y'all, it has changed three times, three different terminals. And I'm like, at what point do they have to stop changing it and let people know who are picking people up at this, you know, on their flight, stop changing it? What, at what point do they stop changing it? I guess, it, I, I guess there's no rules. I guess I can just change as much as it wants to and you just have to deal with it. So I was freaking out and I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I don't get to him in time and he's waiting there by himself? That was my biggest fear is, you know, he was gonna get off the plane and couldn't find me or I couldn't find him and he was gonna be all alone and scared. So I was like, oh my gosh, so. I get to the airport and I'm like constantly refreshing the app and it's still saying C, 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 C. I'm like, okay, I'm parking at C. So it told me C29, which is at the very, very end of the C terminal. So I park in one hour parking. It's like 1045. And again, his flight doesn't get in until noon. So I was like, crap, that's over an hour. Am I going to get towed? Because I had a big sign saying towway zone. I was like, oh no. So I sat in my car for a little bit, did a Patreon video, <laughs> did a vlog, and then um, went in about 11. 
go to the ticket counter. She was very nice and uh, she asked me for my ID and she asked for his name and she was clickety, clickety, clickety on her computer. And she goes, okay, um, it's C6. I was like, excuse me? I'm like, it changed again? She's like, yeah, it's C6. And I was like, oh no. I'm like, I'm at C29. She goes, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a walk. She goes, if you want, you can take the Skylink, you know, the little terminal transfer stuff and get you there a little bit faster if you don't want to walk. I'm like, it's fine. I've got, hopefully I've got plenty of time. I haven't gone through security yet, but I just told her, I'm like, just thank God it's still at C, you know, it's not a different terminal. It's just at the other end of that terminal, but I can still get to it. I just have to walk and I'm by myself. I'm like, not a big deal. And I don't have luggage. It's just, just me. So I was like, okay. So she gives me my pass and I'm like, okay, let's do this. So the airport was very, very busy. I don't know why but it was hold on a second let me get a little sip so the airport was very busy um i was like so i was like fighting people like swimming against you know the current is what it felt like and i get to c6 and i've got about 30 minutes so it took me like about 30 oh, i got the security and then by the time i got through security and was going to that gate it was about 30 minutes left i was like okay this is great this is perfect I even brought, oh, I forgot. I not only did I have my purse, I had my little paint gem mermaid uh, little suitcase. Cause I thought if I get to the gate an hour ahead of time, I can just dye my paint on my paint gems. I never got to those because I get to see six and I'm sitting there and it's got like this unsettling feeling of like, am I in the right place? Am I really in the right place? So I sit down at the C6 and I look at my phone and it says C29. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I think the chick, the, the agent at the ticket counter gave me the wrong information. I don't know if she was looking up a different flight. I don't know what she was doing, but I checked my little gate pass that she gave me that I had to give the security to get through and nowhere on there was it specific um, on where I was going. It just had my name. So I don't think she really cared that like where I was going and what, like, what gate. <sighs> so I checked it and it said C29. I'm like, are you effing kidding me? So I got up and I took my happy ass and walked across the entire terminal again, like 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I was, I was walking so fast. I was like panicked. And then it shows that the flight's arriving early. And I'm like, oh shit, oh my gosh. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Now it shows it's gonna get in like 207. I mean, 1207 instead of 1219. <sighs> so I get there and it's crazy at the gate because people are waiting to board a flight to New York. They're just waiting for this flight to come in and uh, those folks to get off the plane and then they're gonna turn around and leave again. So I was trying to get towards the front so I could see him getting off and so I go up to the ticket counter. Actually, I take that back. There was a flight attendant sit standing next to me because she was waiting to go on the New York flight. And I just looked at her, I'm like, excuse me. I'm like, um, I'm picking up an unaccompanied minor. I'm like, do you know if he comes off, if they'll come off first or last or how does that work? And she goes, oh, it's always gonna be last with the flight attendants. I'm like, okay. So she was really sweet. She, her home is in New York. And so we were talking for a while and she's been flying for like 30 years. And so she kind of kept, you know, kept me busy and we were chatting. So then um, people start getting off the plane and I'm trying to get towards the front because, you know, I know these people are all waiting to get on their flight, but one, people need to get off the plane. And two, I'm picking somebody up that's getting off this flight. So let, let me through people. So I kind of had to nudge my way kind of towards the front so I could see him when he got off. And I had to sit and oh, some good people watching y'all. Some really good people watching. <laughs> watching people get off this flight who'd been on a plane for like three hours. All kinds of people. But I had to watch an entire airplane, yeah, unload. And then finally it's, it gets really empty and I'm like, okay, he should be coming off. And then I see him and he is so polite. He starts thanking all the flight attendants, all the pilots, everybody getting off the plane. Thank you so much. And y'all, he has thanked me so many times for everything. He is just the sweetest. Um, it's been so fun. He got in and then um, only one person was allowed to pick him up. So um, Lou had to stay home and she was really, really bummed. But we got hit, we got in about one and she was hungry and he was hungry. And so I, uh, he doesn't have a canes in California. They don't have raising canes. And I'm like, what do you think about chicken fingers and Texas toast? And he goes, what's that? And I'm like, we're gonna go show you. So we um, are getting ready to go and I get a message. No, I take the back. Now Carrie and I with Leopard Leatherworks had been talking because she told me that she was coming into town and she was gonna be in town for the day, just for the day. 
and she'd love to meet up with me. And I was like, yes, I, I want to meet up with you too, but I'm picking up my nephew today and I don't know if I can swing it. I'm like, maybe coffee this afternoon. So that's kind of where we left it. So she had messaged me um, when we were getting ready to go to lunch saying, do you want to go meet us for lunch? Here's where we're thinking about going. And I'm like, the, I said, we sounds good, but they really want to go to Kane's. She's like, great, we'll meet you there. I was like, perfect. So I told the kids, I'm like, um, we're meeting a friend here and I don't, I've never met her before, but, um, she seems really nice, her and her husband. So, um, yeah, I felt bad because we got there. It took them about 28 minutes. She said, um, after we'd got there for them to get there. So the kids were super hungry and they were, you know, didn't want to wait. And Carrie was like, don't worry about it. You know, don't please, please, you know, feed the kids. Totally understand. So we were trying to eat all slow and then they came and I got to meet Tim and Carrie and you guys, oh my gosh, I love just people that you just automatically, I don't know what it is. They're like, we're friends now. I mean, it's just one of those things you just click with people and they were just so easy and natural to like talk to. Um, it's funny. One thing people keep telling me when they meet me and it's the, it's funny because more and more people keep saying it. So it's like a thing, I guess. But as soon as Carrie walked in, one of the first things she said to me was, she saw me was, you're so tall. And the, I had many people at the retreat when they saw me for the first time who had never met me before. You're so tall. You're so tall. I'm like, do y'all think I'm short? Y'all must think I'm short, or a lot of people do, but I'm 5'7", almost 5'7". So I'm like, yeah, and I think it surprises people. I guess I don't really talk about how my height. I don't know. I'm not really tall, but I'm not real short either. So I'm just kind of average, but I think it surprises people maybe. I don't know but um yeah we just had the uh, the best visit um they they were gonna eat somewhere else their son really wanted to go to bucky's so um we just stood there the kids kind of ran around the restaurant a little bit and we just kind of stood by our booth there was nobody else in there so it was it was worked out great um we talked for about 20 minutes or so and i hated that we had to cut it short but the kids were ready i had to bring home food for my older for the boys and because they were at home but it's so fun to meet people that you met through the community and just to have that, you know, camaraderie and just that connection and, and then just to meet people that are really, really cool people. Um, they've got a lot of exciting things happening. We talked about a lot of things. They asked me my opinion, what I thought, what I liked, why I liked their pins. And so if you have a chance to, you know, purchase or you're looking to purchase from a small shop, I would definitely, definitely consider them because they are really, really good people. I mean, I can vouch for them now. I mean, I good, good people, yes. So I would definitely recommend them they were great so we chatted and I was like okay let's get it so we um, got the boys some food and we got out of there got home and then they wanted to swim so they swam for a couple of hours and then after that it was um, what's for dinner and I was like uh, I hadn't gone to the store yet I'm gonna go tomorrow so I'm like oh have you ever had um, wings buffalo wings he's like no I never have he fell in love with the lemon pepper wings from Wingstop he was loving them and he told me today everything I've had so far in Texas has been so good I was like that's awesome because he's he told me he's kind of a picky eater but he's been doing great but he told me his favorite food is lemons so he did like the lemon pepper wings so that was a hit so I went and grabbed wings and brought them home and we ate and then Lou had one of her friends over and she ate with us and they swam together and then um after that it was like uh, 10 30 and I was like I'm starting to fade because I got up about 6 30 because again I was just panicked you know worrying about being able to pick him up and all that and by like 10 30 or so I was like okay it's time to get so then they wanted to watch a movie I mean it was like the never ending never ending day <laughs> like they just I'm like y'all he's gonna be here for a week don't feel like you have to do everything in one day you know they just wanted to squeeze it all in they were so excited to see each other so we made I made popcorn for him and we had candy and they watched Puss in Boots, a new Puss in Boots movie on Netflix. And then it was about midnight and I was up here dying painting while they were watching that movie. And this is where I got to like this last square. Cause I'm like, I need to finish this painting. I can, I can do it. My eyes are watering, I'm yawning. And as soon as I finished the second to last section, I was like, okay, I'm calling it. And then um, I got the beds all ready to go. Cause Lou's got bunk beds and he slept in the top bunk. And uh, so I went to bed, but I told Ryan, my 18 year old, whose room's right next to theirs. So I was like, buddy, if there's any shenanigans next door, let me know, or you can handle it. But if we need to separate them, we can, right? Cause I don't know what they're gonna do if they're gonna go to sleep or not. So I go down, I get ready for bed and I fall asleep and I never heard anything. Well, this morning I wake up 
um, about eight. I go to the store. I'm gone for like an hour or so. Go by the pharmacy. Still haven't gotten a call from them. Haven't heard a peep. I get home. I unload all the groceries. I'm expecting some help. They're still sleeping. I was like, geez. And the house was so quiet. I was like, why are they still sleeping? And I was like, they must have stayed up hella late last night. So Lou was the first one I saw. She woke up before Parker. And uh, she comes in here all sleepy looking. And I'm like, hey. I'm like, y what time did you go to bed last night? I'm like, it is. You've really slept in. Because y'all, they didn't get up till like 1. 1 in the afternoon. <laughs> it's like, are they ever going to wake up? It was nice and quiet, which was great. But I thought, oh, gosh. That means they're going to be up again late tonight, you know? And so... Um, she was like, oh, not that late. So she was real like nonchalant about it. Well, I found out the truth from Parker. Then he wakes up a little bit after her, like 20 minutes later. And he's like, good morning. And he tells me he loves me all the time. And he, we gave each other hugs. He's just so sweet. And uh, I was like, so what time did y'all go to bed last night? Y'all must have stayed up late because you really slept in. And he goes, yeah, yeah, we tried to pull an all-nighter. I looked at Lou and she looked at me. I'm like, what? I'm like, no, no, we're not doing that. And he kind of looked at me like he was in trouble. I'm like, no, no, you're good. No one's in trouble. You're good. But I'm like, let's not do that. Because then look what happens. You end up sleeping away the next day. And you're like missing out on doing all this fun stuff we had planned. Because today we were going to go to a trampoline park. Yes. We're going to go to the trampoline park that has like a zip line and um, a rock wall and a little obstacle course, like a ropes course, the whole, the whole nine yards. So they get up they want to go swimming i was like okay so they went swimming and then uh ate lunch and then we finally went to the trampoline park at four but before that they wanted to stop at boba and get a, a boba a little bubble tea and i asked him if he'd ever had that and he said no so he's trying all these new things so he got a green apple boba he said he loved it he goes this has been great so I took him to the trampoline place um, and about 5.30, they started kind of kind of getting tuckered out. And I was like, okay, I am I still got my whipping chat to do. We got to wrap this up. And I told them, I said, we're going to go home. I'm going to make spaghetti. And then after that, I need to go up to my craft room for about an hour and just film my whipping chat. And they're like, okay. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing, y'all. And that's where we are. We survived so far, so good. Um, and yeah, so tomorrow... We might go to like, I don't know, we've got like a list of things we wanted to take him to. But they've been really happy so far with just like swimming because he doesn't have a pool. So I'm kind of glad that the pool's getting used. And then like right now they're swimming. So but let him swim, you know, get him tired out. Um, but at the trampoline park, I brought my paint gems because I thought I was going to be able to do them. Well, I wasn't because I was like kind of keeping an eye on those two the whole time because Lou would come up to me saying she couldn't find him. He ran off without her. And then I would see him wandering around looking for her. And so I would tell him she's over here. So I couldn't really like have my nose in my diamond painting. I had to like watch what was going on. More kids to watch than I'm used to. So yeah, it's been good though. We still got a lot more days ahead of us. And my mom and dad are coming into town on Saturday. They leave Saturday morning. So it'll be Saturday afternoon. And they're going to stay Saturday night and Sunday night. And like I said, my dad's birthday is Sunday. So we're going to go to dinner and celebrate his birthday. And yeah, so it's like more fun stuff coming up. So, oh, I gotta tell y'all something else. I just got a whiff of it. Um, Laura with Anxiety Art Adventures, that's her YouTube channel name. She um, used to sell Wee Wax and it was a uh, wax, you know, for dime painting pens. And she opened up her shop again after a while of being closed. And uh, she opened it back up and she is selling Wee Wax again. And in addition to that, she's doing wax melts for like your warmers. And I got mine in the other day and it smells, I mean, I want to eat it. I got a Mac of the wax melt called cinnamon bun. I love anything cinnamon and it, I can smell it behind me. I turned it on when I first got in here and now it's like really warmed up and like really putting off some, oh, it smells so good. So if y'all have a chance to go check her out and if you like Max, uh, I can't say that Max Welts, wax melts or some, uh, her wee wax, go, go check her out. I'm not sure her schedule of when she releases stuff, but I'll have her link down below. So yeah, support a fellow creator and a fellow, um, you know, small shop in the community. She's great. So I'm really happy with my purchase. I need to, I need to purchase more. Like um, I'm excited about like some holiday ones. Hopefully she's going to continue to do it. So yeah, um, y'all, I only have one symbol left and I'm doing it right now and I'm going to be done. All I have to do is color block these X's right here, this section and this little baby section, and then we're going to be all done. 
I'm so happy. Um, but I feel like it's awfully quiet. I'm getting a little nervous on what's going on down below, downstairs. So um, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna say goodbye, but then after that, I will add in the clip of the winner um, from last week, okay? When y'all gave the word, the word. So love you guys so much. Um, hope you're doing okay. Make sure you let me know what you're up to and how things are going in your world. And I will probably do a post review on this or definitely have pictures on Instagram of like it finished. So yeah, I'm super excited to be moving on. It's so fun to finish dime painting and like move on to a new one, isn't it? It's so fun. So if y'all enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. You know, they really do help. And then if you've not subscribed, I would love to have you and it is free. So just go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below. And then there's a notification bell right next to that. Click on the bell and that'll notify you whenever I post up any new videos. And I've got some good things coming up. I've got some things behind me that I'm looking at right now. I can see them that I'm going to be doing this week, this coming week, hopefully with my nephew in town, I'll be able to get that stuff done. But I've got a new to me unboxing new, absolutely new to me. Someone gave me a heads up. So I went and got it and I haven't seen anybody else unbox it. So, and it is, it is diamond, it is a diamond painting. So, and it's affordable, budget friendly. I'm super excited. Um, I can't wait to show you guys. So, uh, be on the lookout for that. I've got tons more Timu stuff coming up. So yeah, just follow me and subscribe and keep watching. And I would love to have you guys. And thank you again for being here. So, all right, I'm going to skadoodle noodles. Uh, love you so much. Stay tuned for that clip um, of the winner. Okay. And good luck to you. All right. Love you guys so much. I'll talk to you in the next one. Okay. Bye guys. Okay. Y'all we're back. Um, I just finished my whipping chat. So I'm going to go ahead and film the giveaway winner from last week's. Uh, all I've done so far is I just went to YouTube random comment picker and I put on the URL from last week. Okay. And put the word in there. And then the word was glow. And then we have to do the problem, the math problem, nine, 10, 11. And let's see how many YouTube comments we got. Ooh, 95 unique comments. Awesome. That's so good, y'all. Thank you. And okay, so your name, not every name pops up. It just kind of throws up random ones. So look for your name though, okay? I'm gonna hit start. Let's do the finger drum roll. And good luck to everyone. Who's gonna win the pin? Who's gonna win the pin? <gasps> Carolyn Lyon, congratulations. She said, it's always so hard to lose a pet. Sorry for the loss of Daisy. My front yard is a glow at night with all my fun solar lights. Thank you so much, Carolyn. Um, please get in contact with me. Um, my email is down below in the description of the video, or you can reach out to me on Instagram. It's Crafting with Shay. And I'll be happy to get your new pen out to you. Okay, congratulations again. And uh, thank you all very much for watching and uh, y'all take care. Okay, love you. Bye.